Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today I wanted to answer the question why I went on Erasmus. So let's get started. First of all, if you are new to my channel, you probably don't know yet, I love traveling and studying abroad is like traveling for one year or one semester. So it's a perfect thing for me. So if you like to travel, that's definitely an option for you. And I honestly travel probably the most of my whole life during my Erasmus because I went to different countries, different cities. Sometimes it was every single weekend going to another city to do something. So definitely that was a period of time that I was traveling, as I told you, almost every weekend. Number two, simple reason, life back home sometimes gets just boring. So I just wanted to do something new. I just wanted to experience something else, go alone, get to know new people and just not be home where I've been for 20 years. And that's all. That's just a simple reason why I went away. And number three is that I had a need to meet new people. So I sometimes have this thing, for example, now as well, I have kind of a need to meet new people. So I like to meet new people. That's not a thing that horrifies me, even if sometimes it is horrifying because you are in a new environment, you don't speak the language or there are groups of people but when you are going on Erasmus, it's a little bit different because you are going alone and most of the people are going alone as well. If they are not going alone, they are in a small group. So it's very, very easy to interrupt the group and get new friends and just meet new people. And even if some people will be just for one trip or just for one party and other people will be for one semester, one year or for the rest of your life because Maybe it's weird to tell, but three years after my Erasmus, I still have contact with a lot of people from my Erasmus. So I don't know if it's going to survive for my whole life, but for now, it's forever. <laughs> Number four, simple reason to have the best year during my university. I'm not saying that I haven't had fun back home at my university, but I had a lot of things to do. I was studying, I was at my home with my family. I'm not saying that it's a problem, but I'm saying that it's a little bit different than living alone. Then I was with student organizations, three of them, so it's kind of a lot. At the end of my first year of studies, I went to work. Then on my third year of study, after Erasmus, I also went to work. So I'm pretty sure if I would be on my second year back home, I would probably go to work as well. So I like the active way of living. But in the same time, this activeness can be somehow differently disposed. So my activeness was traveling, meeting new people, getting to know new culture, learning the language, getting to know new school or, or I don't know, learning stuff like how to cook. I mean, I knew how to cook, but like cooking every single day, uh, getting routine at home, like cleaning, laundries, groceries, so all that stuff. So definitely that was one of the reasons to go away. As I mentioned earlier, languages and the culture and as well to make friends. So I met tons of people, I made many friendships, some of them survived, some of them ended with the semester abroad, some of them are still continuing and there are people very, very close to me. And the language, I still speak Spanish, I still speak daily, I would say, Spanish because I have contact with my friends. And yeah, getting to know the culture, it's amazing. You can try new foods, you can see new things, you can get to know someone else's point of view. Another point is to live by myself outside of my house. I was 21, if I'm correct, 20 or 21 when I went on my Erasmus. So studying in the same city meant living with my friends and I had nothing against it because we have great relationship. If someone wanna talk, we talk. If someone don't wanna talk, we don't. I have my own room, I can close my room, I can do whatever I want to. They are not noisy, I am not noisy. So we can live either all together and having fun together or every single person can close themselves in their room and pretend they don't exist. So for sure, living with my parents as I think it's not a problem but in the same time when I'm 20 I would like to try how is it living by myself how is it to be more independent have my bills to pay have my duties to do even like cleaning groceries cooking managing my time going to sleep in a normal time I don't know stuff like this so living all as well with different people because I was living in a shared apartment so it was living with random people who were sometimes nice who were sometimes dirty sometimes they were noisy sometimes they were really cool and it was nice to talk with them but yeah there were also the moments that they were living like already smoked cigarettes in a living room for the whole night after they were going out with friends or i don't know they were not throwing the trash or something like this so you know sometimes there was a full sink of plates and uh, pots so you know it's sometimes problematic but on the other hand yes it's nice to know it it's nice to see how it is and i think that worse people you have to live with or you will learn from living away from home another point is just to be out of my comfort zone 
It sounds ridiculous, but if you have ever been out of your comfort zone, you know how it is. It's a little bit of adrenaline, it's a little bit of difference, and some people love it and some people hate it. I'm the person who love it, maybe not permanently, because it's a little bit difficult to permanently be on the level of not being like chill with what is going on. But for example, meeting new people or going to the new place, not knowing where you're gonna live, how is it gonna be, how the university is gonna be, it's this type of adrenaline that I love. It makes me happy and it makes me pretty amazing. I mean, like, I feel as a superhero when I achieve these things. And for me, it's a huge achievement to do stuff like this. And that's why I really, really love this feeling of living out of the comfort zone because I can always say, wow, I did it. I did it again. Or, wow, I did something for the first time and I survived and it was amazing. And it comes with another point that I knew I'm going to be happy. I knew that that's what I needed. I just knew that it's time to go away. It's time to change the environment, time to be a new person, build your new relationships and make new friends and start from zero because when you are going along to another country or even to another city, you are starting from zero and you have nobody and no one will help you immediately. You can call your friends or whatsoever, but they will not come to you, they will not hug you, they will not bring the wine to talk. You have to make your own friends, you have to make new relationships and you have to somehow gain people and make them like you in a way uh it sounds ridiculous but yes you have to have someone to hang out with and sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's more difficult because some people will just hang out with you as i said earlier for one night uh, or for one day and another people will hang out with you for the whole exchange and then they will forget about you or then they will be your best friends for a longer time and last but not least i also needed a little change in my life it's uh, not because i was not happy from my life it's as i told you i like to live out of my comfort zone and that was the thing that i needed i needed a change and Erasmus was a perfect thing to do. I'm very, very happy that I decided to, and also I found a place where I can go for one year without making so much mess with my university stuff. So in a way I didn't have to redo a lot of exams. I just had to redo one exam. I too, but the second one was from English. So let's <laughs> put it apart. And then, yeah, there were no other problems with the documentation, but if going for one year means that you have to retake five exams back home, I would consider not going or that you have to take exams in the language you think you will not learn. For example, if I would decide to go to Germany, I would probably never decide to take classes in German. But when I was going to Spain, I was like, okay, I will figure it out. And I did, and that's all. So that would be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what is your experience with Erasmus, if you have some, or if you think to go study abroad. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. That helps me a lot with YouTube algorithms, so this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you will not miss any of my future videos. And here I leave you the video where I say how much my Erasmus costed me and the video about why you should study abroad in Spain. Thank you one more time for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.